Good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great day and you had a great weekend. So here's what you guys are doing today. Now, if I were there right now, we would be having a class discussion on cyber safety. However, there are some very key points that I want to make sure that I make with you during this class discussion. So we are going to table that until Wednesday when I see you again. So what you guys are going to do is your pretest for our next unit, which is going to be keyboarding. I know, don't look so excited. Trust me, I'll make it fun. So what you're going to do today is you are going to go to a couple of different sites and complete the activity. I'm going to take you through your assignment right now. That way you don't have any questions, or at least you won't have as many. So your first question is going to be to figure out what the official name of the keyboard is. Now you're going to search the internet and figure that answer out. It's not that hard. If you type in the actual question that I've written down, you'll find the answer pretty easy. Your next step is to go to typingtest.com. Again, I have the links there for you. That way it takes you straight to the site. So we're going to go ahead and go to typingtest.com. You are going to complete two tests on this site. Now, you have a couple of different options. The first option is to complete the test and complete it twice, the same test. Or you could do two different tests. That's going to be up to you. You are going to keep your test on English. Your primary language is English, so maybe you should do it in English. But if you want to try for Dutch, French, Spanish, go ahead. It's up to you. You are going to set this test for three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the three minutes. And now you have an option to choose your actual test. So there's Aesop Fables, Rules of Baseball, Space Cowboys, Tigers in the Wild, The Wonderful World of Oz, Zebra, Africa's Striped Horse, The Enchanted Typewriter, and Test Instructions. So when you decide on an actual test, you're going to choose the one that you would like. I like The Wonderful World of Oz. It's one of my favorite movies. So I'm going to choose that. And then I'm going to choose to start my test. Your test will pop up. And while that's doing that, you can go back to your assignment. And again, three minutes, you can type in your test name here. So I chose Oz. And then I'm going to do my words per minute and errors at the very end of my test. Again, you're going to do this twice. Then you are going to go to one of our other typing sites, which is fundatype.com. Once you're on fundatype.com, you have, again, I gave you two options. So you can play either Keyboard Ninja or Zombie Defender, and you're going to do this twice. However, you can either do two Zombie Defenders and two Keyboard Ninjas, or you could do one of each. You are going to complete the game until you run out of time or whatever the game is. You're going to try to get the highest score that you can. So again, you're going to do that twice. On your assignment, you're going to put which game you chose and put your high score. Then you are going to go to typingmaster.com slash games. And these are a bunch of new games. It's a new site that I found. It has Pac-Man and this bubble game and the key bricks. There are those three games for you to choose from. Again, you're going to choose them and put which one you decided on. And again, you're going to do this two times. Then I know you all know this site, and I'll love it too, NitroType. Now, if you have an account with NitroType, then please sign in, and you can race with anybody in class, that's fine. However, if you don't have a NitroType account, and you don't necessarily want to have one, you can just race as a guest for four times, or you can actually sign up for an account. I do recommend that you do your school username and password. Otherwise, if you forget it, I can't remind you which one to choose. So again, you're going to be going to these sites and filling out the little boxes that I have made for you. Make sure to read all instructions, especially this bottom paragraph here. Okay, so, again, 
you are going to find the first answer on the internet. Then you are going to start going to the links for each one of these and completing what it asks you to do. If you have any questions, you can refer back to this video. It will be posted on Google Classroom. You can also ask your sub or you can email me. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you on Wednesday.